Hey everybody, here we have this Toshiba Satellite L755-S5246 laptop aimed for service. This is actually my next door neighbor's laptop. It was well overdue for servicing, needed a keyboard replacement, and needed to have Windows updated. It was still on an old build of Windows 10. But I figured, I was like, what the heck, let's go ahead and try Windows 11 on this thing. So, let's go ahead and start it up and go into the uh, setup utility. It currently has nothing on it because I've already backed up the files and I've wiped the drive. It's got a Solus 8 drive in it. It has 4 gigabytes of memory. I might see if I can increase that. That's something I'll have to look at. So now we're ready to go ahead and put Windows on here. Now, of course, this thing had Windows 10 on it. But I think to myself, I'm curious to see how this machine would run Windows 11. Now, of course, we know with this computer being from around 2010 and, of course, having Windows 7 on it, definitely does not meet the Microsoft Elite class Windows system requirements around Windows 11. But let's see if this machine, despite not meeting those specs, Let's see if it will run Windows 11 well. So here we are in the BioSep utility. Yes, BioSep utility. This is not a UEFI system. You can see that we have an Intel Pentium CPU B940, 2 gigahertz processor. We have a 240 gigabyte solid state drive. That was something I swapped in years ago on this machine. We have 8 gigabytes of memory. It's up from the original 4 gigabytes of memory. So, let's see if this thing can run Windows 11. Now, of course, what I have on my flash drive is version 22H2. So, this was, of course, set up with Rufus to bypass the Elite Class System checks. And, of course, I have a video on how to do that. Look at the USB port on this thing. Thing only has uh okay it has three USB ports. One of them is taken up by a little mouse adapter. I'm just gonna leave that in there so that way we don't lose it. Okay. Let's go ahead and get out of the BioSap utility. And it should just pick it right up because there's nothing else on here. There we are. So we'll run through the installation process here. Okay, let's go ahead and begin installation. I'm going to select Windows 11 Home. Since I believe that's what we last had on here, well, Windows 10 Home. Okay, we will let this install.
Okay, so here we are. Thing getting worked just a little bit there. We're gonna skip the internet since, um, of course, well, when I set this install up with Rufus, I set it up to bypass the requirement for internet. This is a complete setup, which this should be an option regardless. Keyboard seems to work good so far. Good control alt delete works. And of course we are missing some drivers. So what we're going to do is we're going to need to connect this up to the internet and give it a little bit of time. It'll get the drivers it needs. It should get them all on its own. And of course the first time logging into Windows 11 it always seems like that task or takes a while to pop up there. So we'll let this thing run through its little setup and we'll come back when it's ready. Now of course, one of the very first things you'll end up to do in Windows 11 and Windows 10 and Windows 8 is go into settings. This is once you've hooked up to the internet. You go into settings. Go to time and language. Time zone change it to the correct time zone I don't understand why it's this difficult for Microsoft to simply ask for this information in OOBE setup why is it that hard but anyways um, I think what we're going to do is we're going to go to Windows Update and yep have it check for updates That way we can get updates installing and get drivers installing. And of course, we need the graphics driver for one thing. So we'll let this thing do its thing. Okay, if we look here in optional updates, a whole lot of drivers need to be installed. So we're going to get these installed. Okay, it looks like um, we got all our needed updates. So for example, our graphics driver is working now, and also our trackpad driver is working. You can see I can scroll through here. It's installed all the new updates. So for example, when you open File Explorer, you see how File Explorer has the new look. And if we go into settings, You can see how settings has the new home page with, of course, the nag to sign in with the Microsoft account. <laughs> You're like, yes, that's great. But, um, but yeah, it's crazy. This is a machine not, not meeting the Elite Class System requirements. Running Windows 11 pretty decently. I mean, this thing's from, again, I believe 2010. So I'm going to end this video for here. Um, I still got to install some software, uh, mainly browsers and... I think Neighbor Next Door, she has some software she want to have put on here, so I'll get that installed probably tomorrow or pretty soon. So there you have it. Uh, what I'll do is I will do a restart, and since I don't have my phone with me, I'll just use my editing software to handle the stopwatch. So this will be a regular restart. Okay, so now we'll go ahead and 
shut it down and do the fast startup. So that wasn't too bad of a startup. And of course the solid state drive is helping there. We're going to start it back up. quite amazing for a computer that does not meet the minimum requirements for Windows 11, hence why I called in the Microsoft Elite class requirements. So, anyways, that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Hey everybody. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video from Cuckoo Channel. If this is your first time, please subscribe to the channel and be sure to tick the bell so we can know if I new video posts. Please like this video if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment. And share this video as well as the channel with your friends and get the word out. Also, I have a second channel that's Cubed Comp MTDX. Over there you'll find videos about thunderstorms and weather, cycling, and videos about me personally. Feel free to subscribe over there as well if you like. Again, I really hope you enjoyed this video and thank you so much for your support.